trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got a great interview coming up for you momentarily. But uh, don't forget about that uh, subscribe button and the bell down there and you'll be notified of any new episodes coming your way. And leave a comment on the comment section if you'd like. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you'd like to contact us on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to comment on things you see there and send us an inbox, even follow us. We love that. And send us an email, palmastv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or a solo artist and want to be on the show, you can uh, send us an email about that, and we'll show you what to do. And also, uh, we love fan mail, so just send us a fan letter, and we'll get back to you. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Lexington, Kentucky today, we have Zach. He's a... Uh, Another talented artist that we have on our show, and uh, I know that you agree. And we're going to get to that interview in just a second because it starts right now. Well, time for interview time again, as promised. And here we are from uh, Lexington, Kentucky. We have uh, Zach with us today. Thanks for joining us, Zach. No problem. No problem. Uh, we're glad to have you here today. Uh, tell us a little story about how it started for you as far as being an artist, because you know everyone has their own story. We'd love to hear your story about how you became an artist. Well, when I was younger, probably around six or seven, I wasn't allowed to listen to rap music. So, and that was like, uh, I was I was kind of rebellious. So I was like, you know, F you guys, I'm going to listen to my rap music. So I would sneak it in my uh, CD player or my Walkman at the time. And I would listen to rap music and it just it just done something for me. Like, like I was talking to my, to my dad earlier, we was talking about, uh, you know, if I'm ever going, he asked, uh, why I was so passionate about my music because I stay in here and write a lot of the times. And, uh, I said, because back when I was younger, whatever I was going through emotionally, emotionally or whatever, I could talk to, uh, I could talk to somebody close to me, you know, like my brother or, my mom or somebody like that and it didn't really it didn't really do anything for me but the second that I turned on Eminem in my headphones I just I felt I felt better so I guess that's really what started it for me okay well that's a good story uh you mentioned Eminem there were there any other influences uh in your life that helped uh, motivate you to be an artist as well oh uh Eminem Tupac uh NWA Easy E specifically, non specifically, specifically. I like all of NWA. I listen to more of the older, the older type hip hop, KRS One, uh, Fifty Cent. That's not really old, but Hot Boys, like Little Wayne's group. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those are some good ones there. You know, you mentioned NWA and uh, of course Tupac. I mean. There isn't an artist that I talked to that uh, doesn't inspire them uh, with Tupac, so I can understand that. Uh, Here lately, it's like everything is shifting. Like that music is not, it's not popular anymore, you know, like it just doesn't get as much view. So I've been kind of working on a little bit of, you know, chopper stuff like Tech 9 and Twisted. Just those are way different ranges, but... Just, just some of the faster stuff. And Tom McDonald also, he's a really big uh, inspiration. Yeah, those are some really good ones. Uh, I can see where you got your style from there. Um, somebody might be watching this right now, and they might want to say, I want to download your music or listen to it, or and I want, I want to follow you on social media. How, how do you do that? Um, well, it's Zach Williamson on Facebook. Uh, Apocalypse, A-P-O-K-A-L-I. P Z on YouTube and uh, Apocalypse on SoundCloud also spelt the same way. Now I also have an Instagram. I don't really post much music to that because I didn't. I never really have much many plays on it. And that's that's about all I have. All the platforms I have at the moment. 
Okay, we'll get out there and listen to his music and follow on the uh, on those social media sites and streaming sites. I know, I know he would just love you for that. So I hope you do that. Really, too. greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I, I know they will, and or you will, excuse me. And um, right now we're getting ready to watch your music video. It's called Thrillback. Uh, I'm, it sounds self-explanatory, but tell me a little story about the song. Well, I was. Uh, it was just. It was a normal day, of course. Uh, it was sunny outside or whatever. I mean, I don't know if I'm even going right about this, but I was just writing songs. I wrote like, I think three songs that day. And I was just, you know, full of just tempos, melodies. And I got to listening to Tupac. I think it was uh, Ambitions as a Writer, maybe. And then Brenda's Got a Baby, you know, just the Tupac catalog. And then I was like, that inspired me. I think I'm going to write about it. I'm going to try to, like, write in the Tupac style. So I kind of made that uh, in one line. I say, I'm on my hustle every day so they don't owe me shit. Um, I'm, about to, I'm about to throw back like an opiate. Like, throw back like an opiate. Because back in the day, I, I was... You know, I did a little bit. I had my hands in a little bit of everything. But now I'm, I just, this is my passion. Okay. Well, that, that is a good story on that. It's it's an awesome song, obviously. And uh, I know everybody out there is getting ready to get a chance to do, uh, listen to that and, and watch that in a minute. But before we get into that, I think right now, Zach, that's all I can think of. But we'd love to have you back again if you have something new to plug for me. So uh, we'll have you back on the show again sometime if you want. Thank you. I'd love to be back possibly new music okay and here's throwback by Sonic and it starts right now it's, not, it's out of our control it's not like he wants to kill he just doesn't want to die you know what i'm saying it's that it's that situation when you got we, we are living in a war zone i feel like i can represent my generation so much because i honestly do not care whether i live or die but now i cannot die i can't leave until this shit is straight you know i'm not suicidal i'm not i can't go until y'all really know what time it is and then after that boom it's all over and we can see you know how this is fall but that's how it is and the reason being is because if i can't live free if i can't live with the same respect as the next man i don't want to be here because god has cursed me to see what life should be like i can be me that would be appropriate don't flip the script when i throw back like an opiate everyone likes to bitch and moan swear to god they only trip make the beat my home away from rap i only spit stay on my hustle every day but they don't owe me shit about to turn back to the old me like a throwback if you doubt me now homie be like i've known that motherfucker so cold show me where these flows at walking so frosty over the ground my toes trap shit take center stage until they hear me a slow clap popping off with this beat till the mic sings say i've got both straps ain't about to die till i can leave behind a legacy i'd say fuck the world but then that would lead to pregnancy it's my time to shine like the tallest chandelier it's a climb from the bottom but i'm still standing here friends be your enemies they like to grab intel here's no pretending acting like i've been well they get you to open up so then they go and tell gotta get this shit right and leave no distractions when i'm on the mic i don't need no interactions this is where i go when i gotta open up i just hope you feel these vibes go ahead and soak it up never pay attention probably because i'm broke as fuck i'm real the rest is blown like the dopest cut wrote this as a poem i think i hate this letter Write it when I grow to make it sound better Mainstream so dry, I guess the underground is wetter I'm the top contender, I should own golden gloves Across the ring from a pretender that hits with shoulder shrugs They sleep on me, I got some new dreams I don't slip on the beat like tied shoe strings Flip over defeat, man, I come as a mood swing I can write happy, mad, sad, feel the emotion Write rhymes, then rap over a beat that shit in motion i know i'm real i don't give a fuck what she say what the fuck is family never trust a dj smoking chill relax kick back and let the beat play running out of reasons to come first in this relay hope you go back restart this then listen to the replay if you made it this far it's a banger you decided before anything take your finger and like it try to be the best but i feel it's no contest check this later if you comment say yes man i always fucking
can stay stressed Everybody play this